Now, remember, mess ups don't matter. I can edit it right out. Look up at me. Get this little cowlick action going on. Good. What's up, buddy? Mm. I, how you doing, man? <laughs> you ain't been on camera in a little while. No. Let's have a serious discussion about Halo Infinite, shall we? Now, I made a video recently talking about the Halo conference. To say I didn't like it is putting it lightly. But I did say the Halo Infinite demo looked awesome. Now, when I said that, I have watched the demo on my phone. I've recently watched the video on my computer. I've watched it on the big screen. We watched it again just now before this video so we could make this video. Now on the phone, I didn't see the pop-in. I didn't see the frame drops. It was clear as day when I watch it on the computer and I see it on the big screen. Um, when I watched it on my phone, it looked like I was watching Infinite, War, Infinite Warfare gameplay in, open world, in an open world setting. Looking at the computer on the TV, it's definitely got a more cartoonish art style, but I feel like that's Halo. I don't feel like it's deserving the hate that it's getting. Uh, we, me, and, me and him were watching, I'm going to give him, he's going to talk, just give me, give me a second. Me and him were watching the gameplay, I'm like, where did they capture this picture of the grunt? You know, the picture everybody's posting to, to show how shitty the demo looks. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. What would you say the what'd you say his name was? Craig. Yeah, they gave him a name. They gave him a Craig. That's the guy with, with no helmet on, right? Yeah, the and, group. And they say his animations look real crappy. I'm like, where did they capture this screenshot? So they captured him in motion and zoomed in on him. Well, what game isn't gonna look like crap if you do that? Now, despite the cartoonish art style, me personally, I feel like the graphics still look good. Keep in mind, this thing's going to be 4K, 60 FPS in open world. I think it's going to be open world. It's going to be 60? 60 FPS for, oh, PlayStation exclusives, look, they're 30 FPS. Yeah, but this is the beast next gen, uh, what's the name? Xbox Series X. I get it. Listen, 4K 60 is hard to do. I have a $700 graphics card. $700. When I put Red Dead 2, now listen, I know it's not near, I know Red Dead 2 takes a dump on, on Halo Infinite's graphics, but when I put it in 4K, high settings, on my $700 graphics card, I get 30 FPS. You, you, you know what I mean? Anyways, I'm, so I brought in the Halo Expert. That was a little long-winded, I'm sorry, you know what I mean? This kid here started playing Halo like that. That was like your first gaming experience ever, right? Yeah. So I want you to tell me what you think of the Halo demo, the direction you think they went, the art style you think they went. Tell me what you thought of the gameplay. Talk to me. Talk to the people. Let's hear it. Um, I feel like most people would agree with me on this. Then again, I don't know. I love the old art style. I love the fact that they're bringing it back. Because I hated the new art style. I hate it. You hate it? What do you so Absolutely you Absolutely despise it. You despise it? Yes. Whoa, 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 hold on. I told him save the conversation for when we're making the video. What new art style? So Halo 5? Halo 5 and Halo 4, yes. Why? I just hate it. Master Chief's armor looks dumb. Just everything looks stupid to me. So what does this armor look like to you? It looks freaking awesome. Okay, but what, what game is it reminiscent of? Halo 3, um, the shoulder pads from Halo Reach, what I've definitely noticed. Um, mainly looks like the Halo 3 armor. Uh -huh. And uh, Halo 3 had some good looking Master Chief armor. Not to mention the helmet looks a lot better in this one okay. than it used to. So that's also a plus. Okay, so you think they're going for a Halo 3 art style? Halo 3, yeah. The okay. brutes also are very reminiscent of Halo 3. Just uh, they don't got the hair anymore, and I mean, you see Craig. He uh, looks a bit emotionless. But right. other than that. Right. So, like what I, did you think of the graphics? You it, thought they looked awesome? I had no idea. It was going to be 60 frames per second. That's, well, in, that's insane if the graphics look like that for 60. 
and 4K in an open world. Okay, now see, now this is where the people are going to cut you off. <clears throat> it's not on the Xbox One X looking like that. This was supposed to be the Xbox Series X gameplay. This is their newest console. So this is like the next generation beast console. And that's the main reason people are upset about the graphics. The same... I mean, we can't exactly say this is too far in the future. 4K in 60 frames per second is rare in open world games. It's like, rare. Um, oh, on a console, it doesn't happen. Yeah, um, like, Ghost of Tsushima is the best looking game to me. I feel like it's so good looking. He, but he loves ghosts. It's 30 frames per second. Right, like but it's on last generation hardware. It's on last, it's on a PS4 Pro. So, th so this is the people's gripe. It's on a PS4 Pro. We're moving to the Xbox Series X, the most powerful console. No compromises. Why are we seeing popping? Why are we seeing frame drops? Why does Craig look last generation? Why are we seeing last generation textures? This is what people are saying. This is what people are upset about. I'm also going to bring up the fact that I'm pretty sure the whole open world experience is going to be on the whole Halo ring, which goes around, which is ginormous. That's right. only a tiny piece of the ring. Then again, um, is, are you, what my question is, are you going to be able to explore the whole ring? Like, uh, um, I don't know. I don't know. Or is it just the downside of it, the down part mm -hmm. portion? People were sending me screenshots um, of the brute from the Halo Wars 2 cutscenes. Halo scenes. Wars 2, yeah. I don't feel like that's fair, because Halo Wars is like top-down little micro-machines gameplay. You know what I mean? You can't go off those cutscenes. You know, so if it's reminiscent of Halo 3, if that's the art style that we're going for, listen, it looked clean to me, man. The gameplay looked tip-top. People are also complaining about the AI. The AI in the demo is definitely not nothing special, but I feel like that was more or less to display the ass kickery taking place. Then again, I uh, noticed something. What, do you remember when the grunt takes the launch pad and he goes flying trying to kill himself? Yeah. It, I feel like that was pretty impressive to me. I didn't think he yeah, was that, actually that, trying to do that. Yeah, that was cool. They're always oh, trying yeah. to sacrifice themselves, though. Yeah, I know. What'd you think of the guns? Uh, I love the guns. Guns look good. The I'm going to have a blast with that shotgun pistol. I love it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The shotgun and the shotgun pistol looked awesome. It looks like it should be taking the heads off these worms. That's what it looks yeah, like. Yeah, but Halo's never been gory. Yeah. You I know? don't need it to be gory. Halo is just good looking. The game is good looking. I don't need bullet damage on a game called Halo when there's never been bullet damage in the game anyways. So... Uh... I could use some bullet damage. I like the uh, I like him zipping things to him with the little uh, oh, yeah. with the little rope he's got. He can zip line himself up on top of stuff. I like that. The it's nothing point. new, but I like it. It's new to Halo. The I can't. That's actually really cool that you can like um, vault and go over obstacles with the grappling hook. That's real cool to me. Mm -hmm. um, instead of how Ghost of Tsushima, you can only use it in set places. I feel like that's stupid. I do, I do too, I agree. I hate but, that, I hated that. I wish I could have used it anywhere. And what's super But can cool. you use it anywhere in Halo? Was that just a demo? I hope you can. Go ahead, what were you going to say? Um, also, <sighs> I, you brought this up too, but the grappling hook being able to uh, take up the fusion core and mm -hmm. throw it at people, that's awesome. Yeah, I, I agree. I agree. Uh, you said people were saying the pistol looked generic. Yeah. I think it's the best looking Halo pistol to date. Halo pistols have always looked trash to me. They just look dumb. This one, now keep in mind, it's a cartoonish art style. But I feel like the guns look pretty damn decent, man. They look modern style. I like that. Yeah. I don't like the old art style. I like Halo 4. I like Halo 5's art style over the cartoonish art style. I feel like they're, I don't know, maybe they went back because it's easier to... Uh, have it look cartoonish so they can get the 4K 60 FPS. You know, I feel like Halo 4 kind of looked like a comic. Kind of had that comical look to it. Because uh, of the film grain. I don't know. I don't remember film grain in Halo Reach. The Halo Reach, um, I feel like that's a very good looking game for, uh, 
Uh, film Grimes never. Film you said you despise the graphics in it. Halo Reach? I never despised the I graphics. I thought you said Halo 4. No, I oh, was talking about Alright, never mind. I, um, never mind. <laughs> So overall thoughts. Let, let's go, man. Overall thoughts. Does it deserve the hate it's getting? No. No. Why? Um, I feel like 60 frames per second, 4K. I mean, come on. Mm -hmm. It's an open world game. You're probably going to be exploring that whole ring. I also heard people complaining about the fact that they don't want it to be open world. I heard that too. Um, something about it's supposed to be like Destiny. There's supposed to be like a 10 year life cycle for this game. And it's supposed to be reminiscent of Destiny. That's retarded. Hopefully they don't do that. Uh, I don't have the details. You know what? I don't exactly follow Halo. You know, it's just something cool to play with him. You know, this is our game. This is the game we play together. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, as far as the hate goes, who made the Halo right? Uh, I would... Oh, yeah, the Forerunners. The Forerunners, right? It, it yeah. was made as a super weapon to uh, exterminate planets. Hmm. How's that? It's a the Halo ring is a. I don't remember why they did it, but um, it's just a the Halo ring is a weapon. It's uh, considered an artifact of the Covenant, and they try to protect it. They try and claim it as theirs, and um. I'm and not... the, so the Covenant didn't make the Halo ring. Mm -mm. Who were the forerunners? The forerunners are the Prometheans, and uh, the, the enemies in Halo Four. Mm -hmm. Um, it starts off with like the gods of Halo, or actually the Flood, and um, they the Flood was released. That parasite was released because humanity was supposed to be like the gods of the universe, basically the protectors of it. But then the Forerunners were jealous of that, so they wanted to exterminate humanity. Mm -hmm. And now the gods' wrath was unleashed, and the Flood was born to punish the Forerunners and also the humans. Hmm. <laughs> I don't know any of that. <laughs> yeah, he, I, he was telling me that the Forerunners made the ring when we were watching the demo. I'm like, who the hell are the Forerunners? But, um, I, listen, I still think the gameplay looks good, man. You know what I mean? It looks like it was vibrant, it's sharp, it's crisp, the gun sounds good. The gameplay looks looks amazing. Uh, AI needs some work, but again, I don't think that's how the AI is going to be. You bump it up to legendary difficulty. I think it's, I think you're you're in for some uh, some pain in the ass gameplay. You know legendary, what I mean? Legendary uh, Halo Two. You died in one shot from jackal snipers, which they never missed. Oh yeah. See, that doesn't sound fun to me. That sounds infuriating. You know. I also heard people complaining about the, like, Minecraft mountains, they call them. Yeah, yeah, that is a big complaint. They're saying it looks like clay, the, the mountains in the background look stupid. No, that doesn't make any sense to me. This isn't Earth. The planet isn't Earth. Sure, it wasn't in Halo Combat Evolved, but this is probably a different ring. That's not a problem to me. It's not like it was meant to look like. And sure, they probably did that for compromises to make the game perform better, mm -hmm. but I mean, at the same time, I mean... What so who's to say, who's to say what structures are going to look like on a Halo ring? Yeah. Yeah, I got you. Closing thoughts? The game looks awesome. I feel like it's going to be a blast, especially with the grappling hook. I love the old art style again. The, the graphics look really good. I didn't even know it was going to be 60 frames per second, so that's also a plus. Mm -hmm. Overall, I was impressed by the grunt flying. Mm -hmm. With uh, you know, he loved that, and I love the weapons. Yeah, just uh, overall, it it feels like it's gonna be a blast, and I love the fact that it's open world. But the problem with open world is, is I never come close to beating games on open world. Oh, this this little guy here, man, he always gets so distracted, so dis I'm like, dude, play the story. Oh, I can't. I he just gets sidetracked doing all this crap. Oh, you know what I gotta complain about? The the melee. The melee. Man, is the melee's like 1960s melee, man. Can we get an updated melee? Uh, you know what I mean? It's like, man, come on, man. That's my biggest complaint. Let's get a different melee going. Yeah, the melee's Look, can we get something cool? Can we get like a big ass 
Crocodile Dundee knife and come up and come up and <laughs> right underneath the dude's neck. Yeah. You know, have a bunch of blue paint come out. Something. Chop their heads off. Come down on their heads. Something like that. Yeah. Hey, you know? It would definitely be cool if, um, you know there was a bayonet in Halo uh, 5, right? You can attach a bayonet to your weapon. I don't, remember, five, I don't five. remember that. You could do it, just not in the campaign. Hmm. It was in a, uh, it was in Warzone or Firefight. Um, yeah, it would be really cool if you could have a knife and slice them like that. Um, but I feel like the melees always look trash in Halo, though. They've always done it like yeah. this. Every game is... Yeah, they've yeah. They've always done that. <laughs> yeah, so dumb. So you're looking forward to it? Yeah. I'm looking forward to it, man. I, and you know, I don't defend anything. If it's trash, if I think it's trash, I'm going to tell you it's trash. I got no loyalty to Xbox. I got no loyalty to PlayStation. I hate on them both. When they, when they come sideways... You know what I mean? If they come correct, I, I, I give them credit. Does it, does it look like a, a next-gen Series X game? No, but it looks like Halo. And that's what the damn game is. So. You know what I feel like's funny? What? We bring up the fact that Master Chief takes his helmet off. It's a blonde girl. Oh, yeah. Realistic. Yeah, she just had a voice-altering yeah. thing. I identify as a female. All right, everybody. Ah.